especially after 64. You know, American uh, Supreme Court judge, Mr. Earl, Mr. Earl has given series of judgments which were influenced by the uh, due process model of Packer. Packer suggests there are two models, crime control model and uh, due process model. According to the crime control model, model, it is the suppression of crime which should be the sole objective of the criminal procedure of the criminal justice system. And it is very important to secure the conviction. You know, it is very important to secure the conviction, do the charge sheet, do the investigation, and try to suppress the crime as far as possible. My point is, this model has never been examined from the viewpoint of victim. What happens to the victim? Whether the pursuit of crime suppression adversely affects the victim or it helps the victim. This is something to be examined. Now, I will come back to this issue. For a while, I will go back to the due process model. Now, due process model sounds very, very justified. I hope I, you are not getting bored. If you have any question, if you want to ask, please. I am one who feels very good when disturbed. No problem. Please tell me. Whenever you feel that there is a doubt or my language is becoming difficult to you, please tell me. I can speak differently. Is it okay? Am I right? My friends? Okay, right. You know, this is just to satisfy me also that I am going correctly. No? Due process is something which is, you know, as per the uh, law. And I want to understand uh, whether it is important to following the black letter law in letter and spirit and follow the cumbersome procedure. Doesn't matter how much time it takes, doesn't matter what happens to the victim, but what is sacrosanct is the following of due process and following of the rule of law. Now, uh, you can say that there are two consequences. Again, what, what are the consequences of the victim? In India, sir, we are following this due process model very sacrosanctly because what we think it is very important to follow the due process uh, even at the cost of you know delay even at the cost of uh, whatever i was asked a question in uh, leader and uh, in a class that uh, why the trial of kasab is taking so much though the india said kasab trial was done in uh, phenomenal speed but the point was that it is important to allow the legal aid to the victim, it is important to allow him the full chance of defense, it is important to allow him all kinds of protection. My point from the victimological viewpoint is how in the process the interests are interest of the victim are affected. Whether due process is equally helpful to the victim, because there is a critique of due process by Kent Rocks in Canada. A fantastic book he has produced. I'll come to that. And but meanwhile, please have a some position ready as far as victim is concerned on these two models. That is my whole because this is a mainstream debate uh, in in the whole criminal justice system. And the current writings which I am seeing these days, especially Douglas Wellouf and others, they are writing. Uh, where is my file? Uh, they are writing profusely on these issues and in fact Beluf's uh, idea, some of you must be aware, he in fact proposed this model of uh, victim participation which is very important and he says that this is the third model. In 1999 he says that this model should recognize the law uh, the importance of victim uh, participation in criminal process and important concepts such as fairness to victim, respect for victim and dignity of the victim. These three things he has particularly emphasized in his book, Victim and the Criminal Procedure. Please read this book. It's a, it's a new jurisprudence which is evolving as far as the victim is concerned. So for me this is another model because uh, I said in the beginning, the mandate of my lecture is to press the space for the victim within the existing criminal procedure. And we have to emphasize that even 
The existing criminal procedure can offer much to crime victims. The only thing probably we lack awareness, we lack initiative, we, we, we are not invoking those uh, rights and those things. Fourth model was suggested by Stickles. This is fifth model rather. He said victim satisfaction model. He says that the attempt to satisfy the victim's interest is a primary value of the criminal justice system. For a while, please listen to me. I make a single comment. To me, and Packer also says, these, model, these models are underlying some important value, you know, which should be the guiding force for the practices and policies for criminal justice administration. So if certain primacy is granted to the crime victims, as far as their interests are concerned, that would be a very, very important value which could guide. And prosecutor also, he has to be a little proactive in safeguarding the victim's interest. What I am trying to see, this kind of ideological change is gradually gaining ground even in the common law systems like India. Of course, in India, it is largely through the individual initiatives of certain sensitive judges who are sensitive of uh, victims' rights. They have given some path-breaking judgments without bothering the substantive law, which obviously do not provide uh, extensive arrangements for the victim. Now, this departure is extremely important, and I note it with now, I was talking about the fifth and sixth model by Kent Roche. I know how many of you have actually gone through the writings by Kent. He is writing, he is a victim activist within the criminal justice system in Canada. And especially he is using a critique after the Bill of Rights which was adopted in Canada and which now talks of victims' rights at several places. And I like his particular criticism at two places. Number one, he says, uh, well, he says there are two models, victim's right model, punitive and non-punitive. Please again examine it. It produces, I don't have much time, but my whole idea is saying is this, this particular preposition offers lot of victimological insight in considering two models. One is normatively punitive models of victims' right, which is more on retributive and expressive importance.